Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about active verb forms and get an overview of English verb tenses. Every sentence in English contains at least one verb. For example, when we say Hafiz ate an apple, the verb which shows the action is ate. Often the verb is accompanied by one or more auxiliary or helping verbs. In the sentence Yati will come, come is the main verb and will is the auxiliary verb. In the sentence Yati will be coming, there are two auxiliary verbs, will and be. We use the main verb and the auxiliary verbs to form verb tenses. Not every language has verb tenses, but in English they are important. There are three main areas of time. Do you know what they are? That's right. They are the past, the present and future. For each time period, there are four verb forms. Simple, progressive, perfect and perfect progressive. The simple form describes a simple action. The progressive form describes a continued action. Sometimes it is called the continuous form. The perfect form describes a completed action. The perfect progressive describes an action that continued up to a certain point. Let's look at the present tenses. Present simple tense does not usually describe something that is happening now. It describes something that is generally true. For example, Rena takes the bus to school. This sentence does not describe an action happening now. It describes an action that happens every day. Then there is the present progressive tense. This describes an action which is happening now. For example, Rena is sitting in the school bus. To recap, present simple describes a general action. Present progressive describes an action that is happening now. What about the present perfect tense? It describes an action that has been completed at an unspecified time before now. Chong has finished his project. For example, Chong has finished his project. Notice that we use have or has with the present perfect tense. Another example is I have eaten my breakfast. The final present tense is present perfect progressive. It is a combination of the last two tenses that we learned. It describes a continuous action that has recently been completed. For example, Layla has been eating her breakfast. Now that we have looked at the present tenses, let's look at the past tenses. You should be able to see a pattern emerging. Just as there are four present tenses, there are four past tenses, with similar names. The past simple tense, or simple past, describes a simple action in the past. It is simple from the point of view of the speaker. Fadli ate a sandwich. For example, Fadli ate a sandwich. Most longer verbs end in ed to signify past tense. For example, implement becomes implemented. Most everyday verbs, however, are regular. They change form completely. So, for example, catch becomes caught. Which of these verbs are regular and which are irregular? That's right. Arrive and finish are regular verbs. Eat and buy are irregular verbs. Let's look at the past progressive tense, which is sometimes called the past continuous tense. The past progressive tense describes a continuing action in the past. I'm sorry, I'm late. Hi, Ina. Hey, Yazid was looking for you. Is it? I went to see Sheila, but Sheila was taking a nap. For example, Yazid 
was looking for you. As you can see, we use the auxiliary verbs was or were and the gerund form of the main verb, that is, the ing form of the main verb. Another example is, Sheila was taking a nap. There is also a past perfect tense. It describes an action that was completed by a certain time in the past. Where is the cake? Stanley has eaten the cake. Oh, I wanted to try the sponge cake, but Stanley has eaten it. Well, better luck next time. For example, Stanley had eaten the cake. Let's put the sentence in context so that it is easier to understand. I wanted to try the sponge cake, but Stanley had eaten it. At the time, I wanted to try the cake, Stanley had already completed the action of eating it. There is also a past perfect progressive tense. It describes a continuous action that was completed at a certain time in the past. It looks something like this. Stanley had been eating the cake. Does it seem difficult? Not to worry. It is quite an unusual tense. You may not hear it every day. Now that we have looked at the present and the past, let's move on to the future. Once again, there are four forms to look at. Simple, progressive, perfect and perfect progressive. In the future simple form, we use the auxiliary will. For example, Lena will be late. For planned actions, we can use the alternative form going to. Zarina is going to host a party. We use the progressive form for continuous actions. The pattern should look familiar by now. Zarina will be jogging all morning. The future perfect form describes an action that will be completed at a point in the future. For example, Puan Aisha will have cooked dinner by five o'clock. And the final form is the future perfect progressive. As you can guess, it describes a continuous action that will be completed at a certain point in the future. For example, Puan Aisha will have been washing her car. Once again, this is a slightly more unusual form. We have finished looking at the active verb forms in English. Did you count them? There are 12 altogether. Can you learn them all? Let me test you on some of them. Let's look at the first one. I have eaten my breakfast. That was the present perfect tense. Did you guess correctly? The action has been completed at an unspecified time before now. Let's look at another sentence. Yazid was looking for you. That was the past progressive tense. Did you remember it? The tense describes a continuing action in the past. How about this sentence? As Lena will come at five. That was the future simple form. We use the auxiliary will for this tense. Congratulations if you got all three correct. Before we go off, let's take a look at a common mistake in English. Don't say, listen, he snores. Say, listen, he's snoring. We use the present progressive tense for an action happening now. That's all we have for today. Bye.